Okay, though. So, um, hopefully this will not get immediately written off here because of the music, but yeah. Uh, we have Men in Black vs. the Terminator here today. Uh, basically, uh, on the left we have a uh, thing that's mostly decked out in energy weapons with um, a pistol that looks just like the one they use in the movies, as well as an orc for the, uh, uh, the cricket. And uh, yeah, on the right we have the Terminator with uh, all of his also energy weapons. Uh, sheer tanky overweightness and also a minigun because of course he's got to have his minigun and his explosives on the back. So apparently according to the wiki thing they had some sort of missile type situation going on. So we've got all their lasers and missiles and explodey dealies and yeah. So uh, this one, uh, the Men in Black one, is pretty reasonably maneuverable. Uh, relies a lot on uh, dodging and such sort of thing. Now uh, this was as close to the suit look as I could pull off. So, there's that. But yeah, it uh, uses a, a couple decent laser rifles. Um, has some pretty hefty output as long as it's uh, as long as it's able to keep its energy going properly. Which, after a few tweaks, it's actually able to do pretty effectively. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it turned out all right. Over here, the Terminator is just all janky and slow, and sometimes we'll just prefer to walk. I figured it was kind of okay to let him do both things. Uh, when I set him to just walk, he always had a problem with uh, turning around and hitting things. So to prevent him from being uh, outturned, he was allowed to go back to boosting. Oh, crap, man. That was brutal. Oh man, he's like the king of the last second comeback, I gotta say. Like, despite how, as I mentioned, he's just downright uh, janky, it, whew, a Terminator, like, whenever it does its missile and uh, mine combo, oh, that, that, that was just harsh. Alrighty, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, going to do all his pew pews. Yeah, it seems a little unlikely that he'll even get to his side arms in any of these situations. Uh, they're mostly just there for flavor anyway. Uh, the cricket, I mean, it's the orc. The orc is the orc is the orc. It's, it works the same every time. And then the other one is the uh, three handgun, as I like to call it. Uh, basically the high cap, high heat gun. I still don't know if there's any actual logic to how crazy high that thing's heat output is. But, I don't know. Maybe somebody could tell me. Because yeah, all the other ones have about the, tw you know, 2000 to 2200 range, and then that one's shooting out 4800 per round while also having the highest ammo capacity. Is there any reason not to use that one? I mean, it not like the slightly tiny bit less damage that it does is really going to be that big of a deal. But anyway, um, there we go. One to one so far. I should probably turn that back on. Oh wait, now it's switching out of the Mars Attacks theme. Why is it doing that? Actually, you know what we should be doing? Uh, they have an ex extended version of the, uh, the kind of song version, so we'll go ahead and go with that. Why the crap not? <laughs> Absolutely no reason. No reason, why not? That's why. Ouch. Okay. Oh, there's another one from the Men in Black. And uh, that is why we're definitely not going to use that camera angle again, because that was a little bit janky. Um, also, I'm mixing up my X's and circles again. Yeah, such things happen. Never know when you're going to go data circle. That seems like a joke about shape. Now I'm... Ah, screw it. Never mind. Butcher that. We'll, uh, we'll ignore that that happened. <laughs> and this is the instrumental version, so hopefully no issues there. I think this one might be my favorite energy build so far. 
just because of how quick it still manages to move around. Uh, it's actually pretty comparable to um, the uh, the pink shirt, uh, the Vegeta build from a little while ago. And yeah, I think he's gonna win it. The Terminator is terminated. There we are. Now, what are we doing as an extra this time? Kind of feels like uh, Jay needs to fight XCOM. Specifically their Colonel. Actually, no, he needs to fight a Sectopod, maybe. Yeah, Sectopod sounds about right. Or... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pit him against a sectopod, why not? I mean, they're supposed to be fighting the alien stuff, after all. So, I went with this head specifically because uh, it had the widest, like, visor-type thing going on. And you could almost sort of see, um, uh, sunglasses going on, if you looked. This thing's got lasers for days. Actually, they both got lasers for days. But, uh, yeah, I guess everything is just fine. No sectopods invading the earth today. Alright, well, there you go. And, uh, let me know if you have any requests. I'll make them happen.